Welcome, welcome to Wrestle Line, the show that kicks arse and takes names every time. Hosted by John Scott and Matt Essex. Hey, what's up everybody? John Scott here as usual with Matt Essex and uh, this week we thought we owe it to you. It's questions time on WrestleLine and uh, we've got that coming up along with some other interesting topics. The one that's definitely gone viral and trending as we probably speak now, the WWE 2K20 game had loads of emails about um, the glitches, the uh, the issues that uh, the game has already been facing just on release. So we're going to talk about that um, in, in one go, basically, um, to get that out there. We're also going to be talking Ring of Honor that we will be going to this Friday. Uh, we're going to give a little rundown of the card. And, of course, take your questions. Uh, don't forget, if you want to send us questions for future episodes, it's email at wrestleline.co.uk. That's email at wrestleline.co.uk. But um, first off the bat, Matt, got to talk about it. It's that time of the year again where WWE drop a new game. And this time it seems like it's dropped not so well. Um, <laughs> it's the uh, it's the, the so far from, from what we've heard. You've had an opportunity to play the game. I haven't. I've only seen people's um, terribly bad videos about it with all these crazy glitches. But... Uh, Yes, tell us a little bit about the the man, the the slogan that they've gone on about for the last six months, all these amazing commercials. Um, It seems like it's taken a hell of a backlash at the moment. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess I don't know where to start with this, to be honest, as well. I mean, they've done a hell of a job promoting it, didn't they? They they put out some adverts and they were well put together. Yeah. But uh, when you actually get your hands on a physical copy of this game, it's just terrible diabolical it's like yeah. this is not what you expect from what is supposedly a triple a title mm-hmm. it's supposed to be the wrestling game you know and then people were promoting it even like they had woods talking about it telling us how mm-hmm. you were going to be able to do these incredible things in this game and yeah some of the things are incredible because you can't believe how, <laughs> how terrible it looks um just the animations in the ring i was playing it and like Roman Reigns was running into the ropes, just continually running into the ropes. He wouldn't stop. And yeah. I was like, okay, that's not right. Mm-hmm. Um, collision detection, terrible this year. Um, you're just sort of throwing punches and just hoping they hit. Mm-hmm. There's like no targeting system or anything. Or if there is, it's a very poor one. I just don't know how they go from last year's game, yeah. uh, which was just okay mm-hmm. at best, and then make it worse. How does that actually happen? I mean, surely it would have been better if they actually did nothing at all. And changing the controller system as well, that doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maybe it takes some getting used to, but I just feel like for years the reversal was on always on the trigger, and now all of a sudden it's changed to one of the the sort of face buttons, and it's just just not right. Uh, If anything, it's probably just an excuse to say that something about the game has changed. yeah, and just these character models. They're uh, something else. I mean, I know some of them aren't with us anymore, so you nah, can't take them yeah, down to the studio yeah. and capture them, but if you're a fan of wrestling, this is not what you want. You don't want to to play guest wrestler. Mm. I was just looking, I was going through the roster, looking at some of the actual faces, and I was like, I can't even tell who that is. Mm. Yeah, there's the name there, but it still doesn't look like the person they're telling me it does. Yeah, I've, uh, just as Matt's reeling this off, I've just literally gone on my phone and uh, I'm looking at... I'm looking at 2K18's version of The Rock, and now I'm looking at 2K20. <laughs> and I know which one I'd rather play with, uh, let's put it that way. It yeah. is pretty bad. I can't even recognise that that is The Rock. It looks like Maven. Yeah. Uh, bumped up Maven, who's come back on steroids um, at this point. But yeah, it's um, it's not been good, has it? Uh, Forbes have been mm-hmm. reporting on it. It's been trending uh, as well. Uh, fix WWE 2K20 been trending all over the night, um, and uh, yeah, so so bad that PlayStation have actually come out and said they're not mucking about this year because they warned 2K last year with some of the glitches that was happening um, that they wouldn't be putting up with it again. That they are offering full refunds, <laughs> so that is not a great sign. They're not waiting for patches to fix it. They're not going to wait for that long. I'm guessing because people have put down a serious amount of money, mm-hmm. uh, and this is another thing as well, it's not just the gameplay, they made a complete hash and mess of sending these autographs out. Uh, people like Edge have gone to Twitter, they're already saying they're trying to work on getting autographs to the fans that you know put down a lot of money, 
And, and it's not like you just pre-order it and pay full price on the date. No, they take all your money at once sometimes. So you are paying, what, $100, you know, 80 quid here, whatever it is for these editions, and then they're not even coming mm-hmm. with the autograph, the signed autograph. And then on top of that, the game... Is abysmal. Yeah. So it's uh, it, it's it's really not a great thing. I've not seen anything with WWE's response. I've not seen 2K respond yet to it. Um, so we're still waiting on that. I'd be very surprised if we don't get some sort of response in the next 24 hours. Um, obviously, we're not game buffs here, Matt, but where do a company like WWE, they're, they're so engrossed with Fox at the minute, they've got a lot going on, mm. surely they are not going to want this bad press no, for I mean, too long so I mean what can they do about it to be honest with you is there much because if if PlayStation are going to start refunding then obviously WWE are losing money um, who are WWE going to blame 2K do you think are they going to get the brunt of this uh, this whole thing I feel like WWE should take pride in their own product and mm-hmm. they should have more of a hands on approach with how these games are made mm-hmm. uh, and they should have realised that there was issues and uh, not released this game <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah 2K uh, there's just no excuses is there because mm-hmm. when you look at their other products uh, and you think about their basketball one and everything and how polished that is and how good the graphics are yeah. they're knocking <clears throat> it out of the park so how comes they can't do that with a wrestling game it just makes no sense um, and somewhere down the line someone's just not really caring enough the quality control isn't there um, maybe they need to take a break and after this I feel like it's strongly recommended that they take a year out <laughs> to assess this situation and build a wrestling game from the ground up because um, this whole updating it year in year out is just isn't working for them and I feel like next year it's best that they do take a break because no one's going to end up buying it after this because they've all seen that the game's come out broken. Mm, yeah, if I was a kid, I'd be deeply disappointed with what I've got. I mean, obviously as an adult fan, I can be a little bit more realistic. And But I mean, it's like I say, it's a lot of money people put down for these games. You know, you are buying all these crazy additions. And like, let's face it, they shove this stuff down your throat for six months, you mm-hmm. know. And like Matt said, they did a brilliant job with the commercial. They always do a very good job with the commercials. It's going back since, what, Goldberg was doing it. Sting's one was really good. I mean, the Lesnar one, Suplex City, I've liked them all. But when it comes to the game, we're not seeing much change there. There's no innovation within the game. And... Um, yeah, very disappointing, especially with like China being in it this year. You know, I mean, what does that say? If you could what's, say actually, what's she going to look well, like? Have you? Have, yes, is she the on model there is or? terrible oh, as well. God. So, I mean, Dare this I year ask. round, a lot of the women, it's, it's, they say it's Becky Lynch the man. They all do. They look like men. In other words, <laughs> the women that they put in this game, I don't know where they, they get their models them. from and whatever. Yeah. But the mm. faces are just all wrong mm. and for a game this year that focuses on the four horse women if you can't get those models right don't base your story around them yeah and uh, I, I believe the career mode and everything has got as much flaws as the others even though it's cut scenes mm. there's these crazy images i'm seeing where somebody's traveling in a car and their hair's waving everywhere yet the windows are up i mean it's those things. I can't believe that nobody is sitting there reviewing this stuff enough some and things, evaluating. Some things are forgivable. You might wait yeah, for a you, patch here you and get there. A, yeah. I mean, I know earlier in the year we were talking about FIFA and how mm. the career mode was broken in mm-hmm. that, but that's a patch you can wait for. Mm-hmm. You can The, the uh, sort of gameplay is still sound in other yeah, modes. Yeah. But in this a wrestling game level. like this... It affects every level. Mm-hmm. If you if you can't get the action in the ring right, uh, you can't mm-hmm. even just you can't even pick it up and play an exhibition match for fun. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, I, I mean, we've had a flood of emails complaining about it. I know a lot of people have been asking me what can they do. Best um, o- o- thing to do, depending on what platform you got it on, is just go and seek them out. Literally send them them emails. I mean, if you've I think PlayStation are basically giving full refunds. For anyone that bought a digital copy, you're going to get that straight back. If you have bought it from a games uh, shop or something like that, you can still email uh, PlayStation and they send you like a code in or something. So literally go through all the providers um, because they're, they're being very serious. I'm pretty sure Xbox are not going to be far behind. Microsoft will not put up with having a, a bad game with that many glitches in it at th- this level getting people to pay that kind of money they're not interested and let's face it they don't need WWE games to keep them afloat so it's, it's got to damage their credibility in the games market yeah I really. would say so and god knows what it's going to be like on the switch because <laughs> yeah. that's always the one that gets the, the rubbish isn't it and you think if it's bad on these ones well what are the switch going to get if you, 
lucky to load it on, I reckon. Um, by the end of it, we'll probably uh, see Mario pop up or something <laughs> and do an armbar. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at with the WWE 2K games. And uh, obviously, I remember when we were doing our podcast under the Wrestling Skull banner, and we we took a lot of pride in talking about these games yeah. at one time. I think we done 2K16 might have been our last sort of full preview and review of it, mm-hmm. and we had so many people. But this year, I've had not really that much sort of anticipation for it, even though they've had these great commercials. People have just, I think already people had given up on it. So, this is the icing on the cake. If you didn't already have an audience, you're pretty much losing it. Let's um, just to stay on maybe a positive side, Matt. Obviously, fans say to me, What are the best games to play in wrestling? What is available? Um, I would always recommend it, is completely different, uh, no doubt about it. But uh, Fire Pro Wrestling, um, very different type of game. But I tell you what. If I'd recommend anybody who isn't familiar with it, just go on YouTube, type it in, watch a couple of bouts. You'll get the style of it. And don't be put off by the graphics. It's What you want to look for is actually how they manage a match. And it's quite good fun. It's very arcade, yes. But I think that's more modern, something that I'm into. Especially if you're sort of an indie fan or a New Japan fan, you're going to love it. Um, there are some great DLC downloads for it as well. Like where you can get Justin Fun the Liger and stuff like that involved um but i think looking further ahead obviously aw matt i mean they are gonna certainly get in on this aren't they at some point they've they're treading on everything else they're on tv they're doing pay-per-view so the next thing's got to be video game and we know kenny omega's a bit of a a game boff we know cody's into it i can't imagine they're not gonna have some influence in trying to get a game made whoever that's going to be with Uh, they're talking about a company from japan at the moment but could we hope for something there, Matt? Hopefully that because we see hoping. TNA have a go of it, and they yeah. it was all right, but it wasn't brilliant, was yeah, it? So man. you know, I I don't know what the answer is. I'm I'd love to see it where EA would get involved somewhere with it, but I don't know if it's kind of their thing mm. if they would know how to sort of deal with it. But what do you think, Matt? Do you think? Um, oh yeah, I hope so. I mean, I hope that something does come about a new product mm-hmm. out there on the market. Um, you know, space has definitely opened up now, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, people have been turned off from the Great WWE timing. product. So, uh, yeah, for me, if there was an alternative out there, I'd be giving that a go right now because uh, I'm not really going to be looking to buy a WWE game anytime soon. You're not going to buy the latest one, Matt? No, nah, and I feel like it's, it's a shame, isn't it? Because for me now, this is already ruined next year's release like i wouldn't trust it at all no and i don't think too many people will be putting down pre-orders and no. big money if wwe really want to help their customers then they probably need to uh let people have some free stuff with uh, instead of paying 80 quid you just pay the normal face value and get all that stuff well, with it, in my opinion for pre-orders send it to you does it like, that's true <laughs> signatures <laughs> <laughs> that's true um so yeah that's where we're at with the wwe 2k game i'm afraid um sorry for all those people that did go and get it i'm sure you was very excited to play it as i would be when i first get it through the door you know it's one of those things i'm into football i want a fifa game if i'm into wrestling of course i want a wrestling game and uh, there's just nothing available so mm. um anybody out there bring it on bring us a wrestling game you know uh let's see um Okay, a little time here to just to plug uh, my latest blog that's available on WrestleLine.co.uk. I'm normally dropping one about every two weeks, but uh, it's all about our latest interview. That, um, it's a, a nice little side note here with Paul Robinson, the Proteus champion who came in uh, last week. And uh, I'm glad to say we're both standing, Matt. We didn't lose any limbs. No, we didn't seem that. to ask any bad questions. And uh, no, it was an absolute pleasure to have Paul Robinson with us. And I want to thank him um, from us for coming in, taking time out. I've got to say... Um, I wrote about this in my blog. I thought he was a total pro and extremely helpful. And I'm not just saying that to put somebody over, but you can tell when somebody's a star and when somebody's not. But Paul was a total pro and extremely helpful with us uh, and made the whole experience very, very enjoyable. It was a, it was a very good, I'd say, uh, education as well from Paul, uh, some of the stuff he was telling us about. So check that out on our YouTube channel. Um, it's been really, really good. Got a great lot of response from it. Um, but yeah all that in my blog as well um, and of course all our social media if you want to hit us up WrestleLine at Facebook we're on Instagram WrestleLine channel and of course we're on Twitter at WrestleLine uh, check us out on all those things um, next up Matt going to give a quick 